Yes. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I was just practicing my favorite pastime. Now, I have a lot of good pastimes. Going outside, playing video games, making pointless funny comedy skits, and playing with my Rubik's Cube. But in my opinion, playing on the Rubik's Cube is the most entertaining. When I started cubing, I averaged five minutes for the three by three, and two to three minutes for the two by two. But now, I can solve the three by three in one minute, and for the two by two, You see, I solved that Rubik's Cube pretty fast, but did you know, the record for the 2x2 two two is 0 .068 seconds. Incredible. And for the 3x3, three three, it's 5.55 seconds. I think they're cheating, but hey, that's just my opinion. As you can see, I'm pretty good at the Rubik's Cube, but it took a lot of practice. If you want to learn how to come to the Rubik's Cube, if you got six hours, come to my house and you can learn the art of cubing. And then do this, and 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 then it's there. <coughs> oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Uh, can I just finish this paragraph? Thanks. It's very interesting. Such an interesting book. I've been reading that for hours. Now, I don't just like to do math work at school. I also like to do it at home. Now, can you go away while I just finish this off? I really need to catch up with my work. Lot to do. Okay. Well, I know that 2x squared plus 4x minus 4 equals 0. So, doesn't that therefore mean that x squared plus 2x minus 2 would equal 0? If so, x squared plus 2x equals 2, because you get rid of that, and it reverses these ones. But also, that would also make mean that x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 2 plus 1. So therefore, x plus 1 squared equals 3. So therefore, x plus 1 equals plus or minus the square root of 3. So... That being said, x equals minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 3. I did it! Man, that was the hardest 7 minutes I've ever done. Whew. Hey, can you go publish my, um, uh, my report on Schrodinger's cat? That was a hard one. Uh, I love to research science and math. It makes your life so much more interesting. You should try to be able to do this someday. Sometimes I like to use math to make my life more interesting. For example, I was out here earlier and I noticed the fractal similarities in this ACRC, also known as Maple Tree, to some of you guys out there. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this part of the video and I hope this gave you some pretty convincing evidence that I'm smart. In other words, I just found out that the probability of you liking this video is the same as you sustaining an injury to your uvula caused from a tap ear. Ow. I'm very generous. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, go on. I always 
trying to make sure everyone's included. Come on, Grandma, let's go for a bike ride. Now when you first meet me, you noticed a lot of things, such as my brown eyes and hair, my crooked teeth, my rather small size, my randomly placed freckled face, my nimble straight short fingers, my small deep genetic hearing devices, my very obscure big toe, and my small yet stumpy legs. Are you done yet? Oh, and um, uh, yeah, and as you also noticed, love to share my ideas during work. And I always enjoy when the group uses them. I always try to add detail to our group, and overall it's just a great experience. I always try to make sure the group understands, and at the end we have a great presentation. Now, but seriously, wouldn't x equal minus 1 plus or minus the uh, square root of 3? Like, based on our calculations, from x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 2 plus 1, that would have to make perfect sense. It, that makes sense. That's a great idea, Cole. Thank you. Nice job. I love to research unimportant, interesting factoids. Did you know that in the average lifetime, a person will walk the equivalent of five times around the equator? Are you done yet? Oh. Uh, sorry. I gotta go finish my 6,575 word report on Schrodinger's cat explanation. Uh, it would prove that the, if I get it right, it will prove that the old quantum mechanics theory is incorrect. If it's good, I'll get my master's in theoretical physics. Gotta go. Bye.